Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to install and use the Yellow Pencil Visual CSS Style Editor. After downloading it from Code Canyon, you should install it. To do that, there are two ways. One way is through WP Admin. Head over to the Plugins section and hit Add New. After that, click on the Upload Plugin button, select the archive you just downloaded and click on Install Now. Another way is with FileZilla or another FTP client that you're using. The folder from the plugin archive should be dragged and dropped into the WP Content Plugins folder. After installing the plugin, either via FTP or WP Admin, activate it. Now, let's take a look at the plugin and its features. Yellow Pencil has a simple to use interface. You can see from the start that there are two main areas. These are the left bar and the right panel. We'll get to them in a second. Before that, I'll talk about the neat features that this plugin has. Yellow Pencil has more than 50 CSS properties that you can edit. If you like web typography, then you'll like to hear about the 800 plus font families that you can use in your pages. With the plugin, you can edit the CSS live and you can drag and drop any element you want and you can even resize it. You'll see more features as we'll look at what the plugin has to offer. First, let's see what is in the left bar. The first one from the left bar is the inspector tool. There are three options for this one. You can use a cursor, a flexible inspector, or a single inspector. With these tools, you can select an element and edit its CSS properties. The flexible inspector can select more elements than one if the selector applies to multiple elements on the page. The single element inspector will select just the clicked element. You probably noticed a breadcrumb on the lower part of the page. These are the parents of the element you are editing. Moving on, if you happen to know that you use a certain class and don't remember where, you can search for it. To do that, either click on the magnifier icon in the left bar or just hit the F key on your keyboard. If you're more of a coder and you like adding CSS properties by typing them, there's an easy way to do that. Type E or click on the code icon in the left bar and here you can add styles for the elements you want. To quickly select them, click on them in the live preview window and their CSS selectors will appear in this section. Let's move on to the Responsive Mode tool. With it, you can customize your website for any device. Simply drag and drop the window to see how your page looks on various screen sizes. You can see in the upper part of the page that you have the breakpoints that the theme uses. On the lower part, you can change how the media queries operate, below or above the given width. The Measuring tool is next. How often did you need to measure a div or a class? I know, more often than you'd like to admit. This tool gives you the exact width and height of the element you want to be measured. Wireframes are cool and useful too. When using it, you can concentrate on the layout without being distracted by pretty elements. In this way, you can focus easier on user experience. The Design Information tool offers general info about an element that you are selecting or typography details of the page you are editing. An interesting feature that people have asked for is the Animation Manager. You can select various elements from the page and quickly add an animation effect on them. Then choose the duration of the effect. Let's move on to the right panel. Whenever you click on an element that's in the page, this panel and its categories with CSS properties will appear. What to do now? Start customizing, of course. You can start by choosing the page you want to edit. You can also choose the type of customization that you want to do, single, template, or global customization. Then edit the CSS properties of a certain element. Let's say you want to choose a different font family for an element. After clicking on the text options, you'll find an abundance of settings that you can do. A cool thing that Yellow Pencil can do is live preview how a paragraph or title looks like with a certain font family. Yep, no more setting the CSS property and refreshing the page like you used to do. In here, it's easily done live. How about setting the background for a section? Easy. Why not use a gradient as a background? Done. 
Gradients on text are the new thing. To see it, use a background gradient and set the background clip to text. Just a few simple clicks instead of writing lots of code. And the same thing is valid for the margin and padding properties. Drag and drop. No code. Only mouse movements. Don't like what you've done? You can undo it by clicking this button. Unsure about that? Redo it. So many lines of code for setting the border radius for an element. With yellow pencil, click here, there, and a slide a bit here. Done. You can do the same thing with the box shadow property. Or by setting a cool and interesting animation. As you can see, this plugin saves you a lot of time that you would otherwise spend writing code. After you've done some changes, you can see them all in one place by clicking this button in the upper right corner. Want to live preview everything that you've done? Click this button here, in the upper part of the panel. Now that you've finished editing this page, move on to the next one. And that's it. You've gone through this introductory tutorial. You can now use Yellow Pencil to generate cross-browser CSS in any theme you want. If you like this tutorial, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.